Mr. James Kinyasi Milia, uh, you're welcome to the Parliament. And before you are the voters who you have to convince that you are capable and able to go represent the country at the, legislat uh, at the East African Legislative Assembly. So you're given three minutes to convince the House, please. You have the floor. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Prime Minister, distinguished members of parliament, good afternoon. My name is James Miller. I happen to be a lawyer and advocate of the High Court of Tanzania. I happen okay, to be a lawyer. Wa wa wait a second. When you're speaking, it's usually not easy to be static, right. but you have to try, pull a little bit the mic, and then address the house. Thank you. May I start? Honorable Speaker, Honorable Prime Minister, distinguished members of parliament, good afternoon. My name is James Miller. I'm a lawyer by training. I hold a master's degree from the University of Pretoria and the American University in Cairo. Honorable Speaker, may I at this juncture thank God, thank the leadership of CCM, and thank all of you, because it's for you that I'm a candidate today. Honorable Speaker, I'm humbled to stand before you with immense humility that you are here for a task to elect members of parliament to represent our country in the East African Legislative Assembly. I believe in the EAC Assembly for a few reasons. One, it creates diversity. And diversity to me is strength and not a weakness. Two, it strengthens strengthen ties of brotherhood among and between member states. And three, three it is legislative and oversight mandate. It does create an opportunity in the framework for economic and policy framework which Tanzania will benefit. Honorable Speaker, I'm privy of the role of a member of parliament within the East African community, and I want to assure Tanzanians that all legislations passed in the EAC parliament will and should reflect to the interests of Tanzania all time. Honorable Speaker, I want to assure Tanzanians through your parliament that all times and always I will stand up for Tanzania even if the sky was to fall. Honorable Speaker, I qualify for this position. One, because I'm a lawyer, I'm patriot, and also I got a training through this parliament for five years to legislate. Thank you so much, um, Mr. Milia. The members of parliament have heard you. And, um, okay, there's one member of parliament who has reason to ask you a question. Honorable Judith Kapinga. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. One amongst our interests as a country is to promote Swahili language to be spoken in regional blocks, including East African community and Southern Africa development community and beyond. How are you going to further this interest? Excuse me, uh, Honorable Speaker, I've not heard it well. Can, can she repeat it again? I'm sorry. No. One amongst wait, our... Wait a second, mm. wait a second. Honorable Judith Kapinga, may you repeat yourself, please? Yes, Madam Speaker. One amongst our interests as a country is to promote Swahili language to be used in regional blocks such as East Africa Community and Southern Africa Development Community. So how are you going to further such interests? You have heard it, Anna? Honorable Speaker. It Wait is a second. Have you heard the question? Yes. yes. All right. Please go ahead. Honorable Speaker, I thank you for the question. It's a great question. But one has to understand that what I'm going to the East African Legislative Assembly 
not really to represent my own personal views, if my country and the Foreign Affairs Ministry agrees that this is what you're going to present to other nations, if it's, they say it's Swahili today, Swahili tomorrow, I'm good to go. And I'll stand for that. But as a member of a member parliament from Tanzania, I will not take my own personal views, but views of my country. That's my question, if I understood her question well. Thank you so much. There is no other person standing to ask you questions, so I give you 30 seconds to wind up, then you may leave. Thank you. Honorable Speaker, distinguished members of parliament, I'm before you. Please, I was among and in this floor, please give me the chance to serve this nation as an AC member parliament. Please vote for me. Thank you so much. You may now take your leave. Thank you. Katibu Anayefuata. Anayefuata ni Dr. Mgwaru Jumanile Magembe.